And the BAFTA goes to... <laughs> Steve Coogan. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very shocked, actually, to get this. I wasn't expecting it, but um, I'm delighted. Uh, really, if I, honestly, if, if, I could, if I could chip off a little bit of this BAFTA and give it to Rob Brydon, I would. Sir Steve Coogan, yeah. huge congratulations. <laughs> it's your third BAFTA, but your first in, what, 13 years? Yeah, well, I saw, uh, you know, Paul and Paul in Calf's Video Diaries won, won it for Best Show, but for some reason they didn't give me a gong. And I've been very bitter about that for a long time. But now, now if it's all behind me, I've completely let it go. Yeah. Does it, I mean, does this mean as much to you as it did winning back then, even now? It's, no, it's, it's nicer now, because uh, what happens, it, because when you, get, when you sort of have a career, when, it, when you, you sort of go, you're in fashion, then you're out of fashion, and then... And so you sort of you know that when it first happens to you, you think that you're going to be you're going to be successful forever, and then you and then suddenly you do a few things people don't like, and you go, oh, this is this is not <laughs> as straightforward as I thought. So when people like something again, it's it's more it's like love. It's, it's better the second time around. Okay, oh, really? Okay, <laughs> uh, and we must we must talk. Why about you not so surprised? I'm not, I'm not really surprised okay. at all. Okay. Um, how much of this? I mean, did Michael? Hang on, let's get, take that back again. Okay. He's thrown me now. <laughs> Michael Winterbottom <laughs> persuaded you and Rob Brydon to do this, didn't he? Because you thought initially that it was a terrible idea. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. Well. Uh, we just he kept asking. We kept saying, but there's no script. It's going to be terrible. And then uh, he said, yeah, but you two guys are quite good together. And, uh, and I do love Rob, and, and he does annoy me a little bit, <laughs> but not as much as I make out he does on the trip. Um, and, he, and Michael said, because when we did it, we did a film called Cock and Bull Story, which uh, involves some improvisation. And, um, but, but mainly it was, it, it, there was a lot of script there, you know, about, uh, and this, there was nothing. He just said, "You're going to go around pretending you're eating restaurants, and we'll just figure it out." And I was, I, I, I was very, very worried, obviously. But then Rob and I talked about it. And we thought, well, you know, it might be good. That there's a it might be good, and we we get on with each other, and so let's give it a shot. And uh, do you think how will Rob take this news tonight? He didn't win in his category. Well, You've won he this. did. I say imagine you're going to be merciless. I'm not. With you know, I'm not because I really do feel. Because I said to him, do you know, if you win and the show doesn't win and I don't win, I will feel a bit sick inside. And he said, well, uh, if you win, he said, he said, the he said, I'm just going to say now. So I'll be, I'm rooting for you. But if you do win, you know, a little part of me will die inside. Um, because he's because he's never won a BAFTA and the show didn't win, which I thought was wrong. But you know, congratulations to Rev and everything. Tom's a lovely bloke, and you know, Kenson's a very nice man, etc. <laughs> right? But um, I still would have been nice for each one. But uh, yeah, no. But um, I know I I, I I said I'd give him a little bit of it, but you know. It's, oh. it's we shall allow you to go and comfort him. We're all very, very excited about Alan Partridge, the movie. Have you finished writing it? Have you started shooting it? We haven't finished it? writing it. We haven't even started finished writing it. But we are writing it, and, and it's, been, it's, it's ongoing uh, amongst the myriad of other exciting projects I'm working on. I know. Sorry. Aren't you doing something with Julianne <laughs> Moore? I'm just making a film with her and Evan Rachel Wood. In uh, yeah, Julianne Moore <gasps> plays my wife, and okay. Evan Rachel Wood plays the nanny that I run off with, <sighs> which is perfect. That is a dream job for you. You are <laughs> a lucky, lucky so and so. Steve Kigan, congratulations. Thank you well very done. much, Zoe. <laughs>